I'm Mike Jackson, and welcome to VicFirth.com. Yeah, the first time was in uh, 1992 with the uh, Blue Knights under Ralph Hardiman. And that, I believe that's when he was actually uh, developing his own stick. So we were the line that got to test and uh, try out a bunch of different prototypes. And uh, yeah, that was my first memory of, of Vic Firth. I had an idea for a stick. Um, I found an old stick that I'd used long ago that was developed probably in the, in the 70s or 80s. Different types of heads back then, um, different style, different approach. I really liked the stick, uh, but I wanted to see if I could develop it for the way we drum today uh, and the equipment that we use today, the types of heads that we use today. I wanted to achieve the high-pitched rim shot sound. Um, and in doing that, uh, you risk um, longevity of the stick. You make it too thin, so we didn't want to do that. And you also lose mass at the front um, due to the, the degree of the taper. So the idea was, well, let's, let's move mass to the front by putting a reverse taper towards the rear. So the stick is actually thinner in the back than it is here. This would be the, the, the peak width of the stick. For full rim shots, I mean, like I said, this is the, the maximum width right here. Uh, so you get a nice beefy full rim shot, and for the ping shots, a nice high-pitched ping shot, which will cut through the ensemble. As far as the, uh, the tip design, um, I wanted something that, that was a decent size. Um, so when coming in contact with the head, I mean, that's basically um, the, the resolution of, of the style, the technique, and the implement, everything you're using, it all comes to be when the tip hits the drum. So uh, making sure that we had um, a significant size tip there and also uh, that we increase the surface area so we don't want it too round and we don't want it too flat but a uh, nice balance there. With uh, auditions, uh, especially drum corps auditions where you're sitting in a room and you're seeing you know, kid after kid, one of the things I try to tell them is, is set yourself up to succeed by making sure that your equipment is ready to go. And uh, a lot of times they'll show up with sticks that are either unmatched, which gives them a balance issues, um, especially with roll quality, and, uh, and or sticks that, that aren't dense enough. They're, they're too light, they're too low pitched, um, and so they get a real thin sound. So try to educate them on that, where you want a more a dense stick, you want a higher pitched stick, you want to make sure they're matched from left to right. Therefore, I mean, you're just, you're starting from a level playing field, and you're not handicapping yourself. So uh, what I think we've achieved here is a stick that offers great rebound, great feel, um, longevity, um, and the, the amount of colors that you can achieve from this stick, uh, just from the full rim shot to the pink shot, um, uh, to the bead design, uh, normal stroke on the head. I think, uh, I think we've got something great here. I'm really proud of it. This has you know, been, been years and years with the company. Um, wonderful people, great support, and the fact that I can actually put my own name with their name on a product uh, it means a lot to me. I appreciate the support of the company. Um, I'm proud to be a Vic Firth signature artist, and uh, I, I can't wait for this to be out on the shelf and, uh, and be out there to the world. <laughs>